Hey folks, this is Phil from Angler Sport Fishing. On this week's pond bait demo, I'm going to be doing a video on the baby beaver. There's lots of videos out there on the baby beaver, um, but I just like making videos about baits that I think are pretty cool. So that's what we're here for. Um, this is the regular size. This is the baby beaver. They got a mini baby beaver and they have the baby beaver XL. This one's about 14 inches long. So about 14 inches long, 12 inches long, and about nine inches long. <laughs> this is the lake edition. They have this where you could put weights in as well. So there's an XL, this is the XL Lake Edition. For the sake of the video, I'm going to show you the Baby Beaver XL. This is unweighted so it stays close to the surface. They do sell weights. Where'd it go? They do sell weights as well. So these weights can screw in just like a phantom on the bottom. I'll show you that attachment there. You can run it deeper if you want. Um, or you can run it with no weight. You can run it nice and shallow. So there's a couple different ways to run this. I am far from an expert on it, but I, I, it's another bait that I threw in Minnesota last year and I'm excited to try it out on my home waters. First way to throw it is to do fast twitches, and real fast. As you can see, that tail really kicks as it moves through the water. that way. So I got to meet Brian who makes these baits, the Wausau Muskie Bash. Um, Brian's a great guy, he donated a bunch of baits to our Kettle Town Muskie Zinc Banquet this year. He actually talked about it on the Muskie Road Rules podcast and said that uh, he, you can go and listen to that. He's got a pretty interesting story as to how they made these baits originally. So again, this is working it with the fast twitches. You can see each time that bait stops, that tail catches up real quick. It does some pretty neat stuff in the water. The other way to work this bait, and there's plenty of different ways, we can do longer pulls with it. And then as it pauses, it really hangs right where it's at and that tail kicks off way to the side. It's a very cool bait to work that way as well. It has some good hang time and if you wanted to work it deeper, you could definitely work it with the weights involved and then uh, you wouldn't be working at just some surface like this. But even on open water, you could fish this in the top, for, you know, a few feet of the water column and have success as well. So I'll show you again here with the the long pulls. As you pull, that tail is really giving a lot of action. The hair, the tinsel, it all really comes together nicely. And then on that pause, it just does a little sink and it, it's got a lot of action no matter if you're, if you're moving it or if you're not. It's always moving and that's, uh, that's pretty neat. Mix it up a little, do some fast switches, and let it sink. Do the long pull, let it sink. Going back to that Muskie Road Rules podcast, Greg Thomas was just geeking out the whole time when he talked to Brian that it's got ears. He says it's the only musky bait that's got ears. He thinks that's why the muskies like to eat it. I'm not sure if that's the answer, but um, can't hurt, right? So go check them out, Beaver Baits. You can get them right from Brian. I believe Team Rhino Outdoors carries them as well. Ask them about them at your local bait shop. That's it. That's your pond bait demo for the baby beaver.